That suspect, 22-year-old Darnell Barnes, is being held on a million dollars bond now. And he is scheduled to appear in court sometime today as well. This all coming after West Hartford police say he was taken into custody late last night around 1130 and is now facing a list of charges, including first degree assault, first degree reckless endangerment and evading responsibility. Police had been searching for Barnes throughout the weekend in connection to that shooting on the western side of the University of St. Joseph campus on Albany Avenue. This all happened around 2.20 in the morning on Friday. And at the same time, police also responded to a rollover crash. They say the driver in that vehicle that crashed was the shooting victim who was taken to the hospital for treatment. According to the university, Barnes is not a student here, but we still don't know if the victim is a student. Now, the search for Barnes eventually stretching into Massachusetts, where state police found the vehicle he was driving on the Mass Pike in Blandford. Barnes was not inside and no guns were found in that vehicle either. And that leads us to this morning. Again, Barnes is in custody, but still a lot of questions that we need answers to, including how and how and where that suspect was taken into custody. Have police captured him? Uh, police are scheduling a press conference for some time today to give us more details, still waiting on the time for that. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we get these new developments. But for now, reporting live here in West Hartford, I'm Angelo Bavar, Fox 61 News.